Standard blood glucose meters can be used in biofuels experiments to measure changes in glucose over time and compare levels between samples. Because the meters are designed for blood rather than biomass, they are effective at detecting relative changes in glucose levels over time, but not as accurate for measuring absolute glucose levels. For more accurate measurements, you can use a calibration curve from standard glucose solutions. From our experience, the true balance meter is the most reliable meter for this lab. If possible, allow the particles in the sample to settle first. Use a micropipetter, eyedropper, or similar to take a small sample of around 50 to 100 microliters from your tube. Try to sample only the solution and avoid sucking up biomass particles, which can affect the reading. Place the droplet on a piece of wax paper, a petri dish, or inside a small beaker or similar. Drawing a grid with labels on the wax paper or parafilm can help organize your samples. A new test strip must be used for each measurement. It is also important to use test strips with the same batch number for a given experiment to ensure that the strips have all received the same calibration. Insert a new test strip into the meter and wait for the droplet icon to appear. Next, touch the tip of the test strip to the droplet and wait 10 seconds for the meter to generate a reading. Measurements are given in milligrams per deciliter. If your sample has less than 20 milligrams per deciliter, your meter will give you a low reading. If your sample has a glucose level above 600 milligrams per deciliter, you will get a high reading or sometimes an error message. You will need to use a dilution technique to estimate the glucose concentration. A simple method is to add an equal sized droplet of water to your sample droplet. Mix by either gently stirring with your pipetter or by tapping the wax paper several times. Take a new reading on this diluted sample. Repeat the dilution process until your reading falls within the range of the meter. Estimate the actual concentration by multiplying your observed reading by the dilution factor. If possible, repeat this process with another sample and take the average.